I'm the sweetest MC. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to try out this bad boy right here. Bow Wow Twist King. Washable and durable hair sponge. Because I usually use the regular hair sponges, the squishy ones, which I will try out for you in this video too. Like this, this one. You guys should be familiar with these sponges by now, especially if you a little something about black hair. So this sponge here, I'm going to test it. Well, it's one that I use and I love and I'm going to try this one out too to see what all the hype is about and to see if there's a difference between the two. So that one is the spongy, squishy, soft material. And this one, I think I got a package coming. Thank you, FedEx person. All right, so this sponge here, it's kind of like a, you guys can hear that. It's like a rubber. It's like a rubber, maybe composite type material. And it says pat patent pending. It's a red premium item. I got it off of Amazon and it says perfect twist brush for easy quick styling. Twist King is made with durable and washable material meaning two times longevity than regular sponge and can always be used as clean brush. Ergonomic shape is plus for comfort handling and specially designed texture for better grabbing hair. Best results with half an inch or longer coiled hair lengths. See now that last part, that little tiny last part right there, in those little letters, I did not see that when I purchased it. But I wanted to see what all the hype is about because it is pretty like short as far as like the depth of it. So I can see why they say half an inch or less because my hair's longer than that but I still wanted to try it I feel so dumb right now I probably should have like read the whole thing but anyways let's get on let's see if this works because the other sponges well let's see this sponge too is actually not that deep so this is probably one of the require requir it's probably one of the requirements for this one too but it's all good because I use this one for my hair all the times and so we're gonna test the two out to see how it goes and to see if one works better than the other. I have to get my hair scarf that was in the washing machine because I'm gonna do my baby hairs first. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap and let that sit for a minute or two. Or maybe five minutes. I'm gonna give it about five minutes and then I will be back. Oh, by the way, this is kind of what got me because if you look at Bow Wow right here on the, on the package, you'll notice that his hair is more than half an inch long. And so that's why I thought, I was like, well, if that works for his hair like that, then 
my hair is about that long, so let's see. I'm going to pick up my hair just a little bit. Not really, I'm just um, pulling it all up to kind of like make it a little even on the playing field. Okay, so I kind of picked out my hair, have it sort of kind of pretty much even everywhere. See that? Here goes nothing. That was easy to use. It's kind of just as easy as this one, but it just depends on how much you push against your hair. And since my hair is longer than half an inch, I did not push down too hard, which I don't push down too hard with the sponge I'm used to using either. So I gently from the top, I go round and round and I keep going around and around until I feel like um, I have a look that's suitable for me and so let me remove my scarf and see how it looks look at them baby hers <laughs> I absolutely love baby hairs and you know what I never I never used to be a fan of baby hairs until I went natural. I mean, I did it for like a wig or two here and there, but yo, like the baby hairs just changes the game really and truly. All right, so this is my hair after using the Twist King. After using the Twist King, this is my hair. Let's turn around. Let me get up a little closer. I hope you guys can see that. This is pretty good. I like it. I'm truly liking it. And so it, it, does, it does match up to the sponge. Okay, so I must say, this is pretty hot. I flippin' love it. I love the fact that I'm at a point in my natural hair journey where my hair is the length that I truly enjoy lots. Okay, let's try the regular sponge now. I'm going to brush it out. That's right, I'm sorry. Please excuse me, guys. I just lost my audio. I'm gonna try my best to remember what I'm saying. I know here I'm saying I picked out my hair. I'm gonna apply some gel uh, to re-wet it. And I'm putting the gel mostly on the outside of the hair so that it won't crunch and bunch up too much. And so I leave it on the outside of the hair. Because if I put it on the inside of my hair too, it'll um, just tighten the curls. And that's what I'm saying. Boy, oh boy, I can't remember everything I'm saying. But I'm going to use the rigid side of the sponge, not the flat side with the bigger holes. I do use that side from time to time, but we're going to try it out on the other side today. Something was funny.
All right, so those baby hairs are still intact. Loving it. My hair still looks good right now. I'm going to hit you with the 360. Looking good, looking good. I really can't tell the difference. All right, so my apologies for losing my audio. I wish I could remember everything that I was saying because damn, it looks interesting. And so basically out of the two, um, they pretty much to me both work the same. The regular sponge and the Twist King. And so we're going to call it a tie. And they both deserve their props. They both do a good job. I can't tell that one works better than the other. And so I think that um, anyone who's interested in trying it should try both of them and see what you think for yourself. Leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So much love. Until next time.